to create boundary contour segments in the Datatronic 5 or a Fieldstar 5, we need to start on the map page and we need to have an active field with a boundary selected. As you can see on the map, I've got a field with a boundary that's already created. If I touch on my map, I open up my tools the first thing I'm going to do is create a guidance line. So I'm going to pull out the drawer for my add and I'm going to select the guidance option. Now I get all of my guidance line types. I'm going to select the boundary contour. Now we have the option to select the number of segments we want created for the boundary We can have a maximum of 20 segments in a set. For this field, I'm going to select four. Feel free to pause the video and add more or less segments to see how the guidance lines are going to be created. When I'm satisfied with the number of guidance lines that are going to be part of this segment set, I can press OK in the bottom right hand corner. If I'd like, I can give the wayline a new name. And press OK. Now you'll see that my, my segments are created. At this time, they are on top of the boundary. So the next step I'll need to do to make these usable is I need to shift the segments half of my implement width off of the boundary. Instead of shifting each of the four guidance lines that are active or individually, I'm going to press the shift icon at the top of the light bar, which is the track error indicator and I get a new icon when Wayline Assistant is unlocked in the terminal that shows the contour segment icon. Here I can enter half of my implement width. My implement is virtually 20 feet, so I'm going to do 10 feet. Now I'm gonna shift it inward to close the shift menu. I can tap on the map and now you can see my guidance lines are active off of the boundary. To use my guidance lines, I just need to drive towards the line or near the line that I hope to use. Press my resume button. I'm actively steering on this line. flag that just passed on the screen is just an indicator of what segment number I'm on. Segments are automatically numbered when we create the segment set. The guidance line that's going to be used is always displayed, highlighted in yellow on the, very, on the Datatronic 5 or the Fieldstar 5 terminal. To switch to the next guidance line and continue around the field, I need to grab the steering wheel and turn towards it to disengage from the current line. And I'm going to wait to re-engage until the new line or the next line that I'm turning towards highlights in yellow, indicating it's ready to use. Again, I'll grab the steering wheel and disengage. You know I'm disengaged because the steering icon in the top left hand corner turned white. Now that my next guidance line is highlighted yellow, I can press the resume switch and continue to steer on this segment.
as you can see, this guy at Simone works excellent for working the outside of a field that maybe doesn't have straight edges. If I don't disengage guidance before the point where I want to transition into my next line, the line will extend straight off from the last heading and steering will stay engaged. A tone is heard as I leave the boundary. If I was finished working the outside rounds or the headland of my field and I wanted to complete working the field using a single guidance line out of my segment set, I can lock a line in place which prevents the accidental activation of guidance on the wrong line when I'm turning around on the end of the road. To do this, I'm going to touch the contour segment icon and I'm going to lock the segment with the padlock icon. Now you'll see as I turn towards another one of the segments, the current line and heading still remains active instead of switching to the headland guidance line. This concludes today's Wayline Assistant activity for today's event.